What's up guys, Summit MGB here, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new for 2023 Trek Fuel EXE lineup. Now this bike is modeled off the Trek Fuel EX from earlier this year, although they've added an engine and made it an e-bike now. It is currently one of the most hyped bikes for 2023, and it has a lot of new features to bring to the mountain biking table. The first thing to note would be the new motor by TQ. This is the TQ HPR50. It provides 50 newton meters of torque, giving out a continuous power of 250 watts at a peak of 300. There's a computer screen on this bike also by TQ. It's an LED, but it provides you with Bluetooth and ANT Plus technology connectivity. This bike has also won multiple different awards, including getting on Popular Science's 100 Greatest Innovations list, and it has the Pink Bike Innovation of the Year. Another thing to note is the app that Trek has just come out with, which connects to your bike's computer, gives you fine motor controls, it lets you see your ride maps, track your ride history, it allows you to see all your ride statistics, and it also connects up with Strava and Commute and automatically shares data across all these platforms. Now, the frame on all these bikes is going to be OCLV Mountain Carbon, and that's got a bunch of special features on it. But the first bike we have here is the Fuel EXE 9.5. All Trek Fuel EXE bikes come with that TQ motor as standard and its compatible computer. The brakes in here are going to be Shimano MT410 four-piston hydraulic disc brakes with 203mm. The fork is going to be RockShox 35 Gold RL with Debonair motion control damper. And the tire is going to be Bontrager XR5 Team Issue with an air mid bead and it comes tubeless ready. The shock is going to be a RockShox Deluxe Select Plus RT, and the drivetrain is going to be Shimano Dior throughout, except for the E13 E crank sets. Next bike is the EXE 9.7. This bike comes with a Fox Performance Float X two position damper shock. The brakes are Shimano M6120 four piston with 230mm. The fork is going to be a Fox Rhythm 36 Float Evol with a grip damper. The drivetrain is going to be Shimano SLX M7100 with shifter and cassette. Uh, for the derailleur, you're going to have XT M8100 uh, E13 cranks. The next bike is going to be the Trek Fuel EXE 9.8 XT. The fork is going to be a RockShox Lyric Select Plus with Debonair and a Charger 2.1 RC damper. Uh, the drivetrain is going to be Shimano XT M8100 set up with the E13E crank set. The brakes are going to be Shimano XT M8124 piston hydraulic disc brakes with 203mm. The shock is a RockShox Super Deluxe Select Plus RT. Moving on to the EXE 9.8 GX Axis, the fork is a RockShox Lyric Select Plus Debonair Charger 2.1 RC damper. The drivetrain is SRAM GX Eagle throughout, except for the cranks, which are the E13E, and you have a SRAM X-Sync chainring. The brakes are going to be SRAM Code R 4 piston hydraulic disc brakes with 203mm front and rear, and the shock is going to be a RockShox Super Deluxe Plus RT, same as before. And the last bike is the EXE 9.9 XX1, the most kitted out bike of these all. The fork is a RockShox Lyric Ultimate with Air Wizard, Debonair, Charger 3 RC2 damper. The derailleur and chain are XX1 Eagle AXS, that's wireless if you didn't know that. And the chain ring is going to be that same X-Sync that we saw before. The cassette is the XG1299. The brakes are SRAM code RSC, 4-piston hydraulic disc brakes with 203mm front and rear. And finally, the four shock is going to be a RockShox Super Deluxe Ultimate with Air Wizard and an RCT2 damper. If you liked that video, please consider subscribing, leave a comment and a like, and I'll see you guys in the next one.